Hey, it's Tom, and today we're going to talk about natural language processing on iOS. NLP has a lot of use cases, definitely more than we can cover in just one video, so for today I decided to pick just one of them. Uh, I believe this is the most popular one, text classification. In this video I will show you how to train a CoreML model that will detect spam in user-generated content. As a bonus, at the end I will show you how to use a mechanism which is built into iOS to detect user sentiment. Okay, let's jump to the work. As usually in machine learning we have to start with data. So for our training process we will need a lot of examples of spam messages and non-spam messages. Luckily these kind of data sets can be found on many websites. One of them is Kaggle and for example in this case I have found a, a data set which contains uh, 5,500 messages and some of them are spam messages and some of them of course are not spam messages. Uh, they were mainly collected in a form of uh, SMS spam me messages sent to different people uh, through a long period of time and all the messages were combined from different sources so that's, uh, that's a good uh, news. Uh, there's also a link to an uh, original paper and uh, collection. Mm, the, the, the format provided by Kaggle is CSV. Uh, it won't work in a uh, CreateML case. So I changed that using Pandas framework. And uh, I won't show you this process today because I'm going to prepare a separated video about Pandas. Uh, it will be a form of uh, tutorial, maybe a course. Anyway, uh, we have a directory called SMS spam collection and I split the data uh, into test set and train set. So usually in machine learning there is a rule which says uh, that 80% of data should be uh, used uh, for training and 20% should be used in uh, as a test and should be of course not used in, in training to just uh, verify if the model is working good. In this case we have a lot of data so I decided to use only 500 messages to, uh, for, for testing, it's at about 10% and around 5000 messages uh, for training, it's about 90%. And each directory contains a directory called spam and it contains only spam messages in txt format and ham which, is, uh, which contains a normal messages we can call it, non-spam messages. Okay, so let's go to the CreateML. I will put it somewhere here. Uh, open CreateML. Okay, so we start a new project in CreateML. Uh, we have to switch into text and to, today we'll need a text classifier. So let's go next, we can call it uh, spam classifier and yeah we can put it right here okay you are probably fa familiar with this view so um, in this case we simply need to drag the train data set into training data and we can drag test data set into testing data and there are a couple options right here in CreateML. So maximum entropy and conditional random field are usually the methods used while training uh, NLP models. However, we'll use transfer learning and I will explain you why. Transfer learning uses a model which was already trained by Apple uh, on a lot of examples of messages. So it already learned a lot of features of language, English language, and uh, it will be definitely much more efficient than a model trained from scratch on only 5000 messages. We can assume that the model that will be used for a transfer learning was trained on, I don't know, maybe 1 million messages, couple million messages, at least hundreds of thousands of messages and it definitely learned 
much more language features than we can learn using a couple thousands of examples. Uh, that's, that's the reason why we will use a transfer learning. And there are two options uh, in, tra in transfer learning. Uh, it's dynamic embedding of words and static embedding. So what's the difference? Uh, let's assume that we have, uh, we have two sentences. Mm, I'm hungry, I'm going to buy Apple. And I have no computer, I'm going to buy Apple. So you are a human and you understand that in first case, uh, I was talking about fruit at the end, the Apple fruit. And in the second case, I was talking about the company Apple. Uh, and that's because you used dynamic embedding. So dynamic em embedding means that the model will check the context of the meaning for particular word. And in static em embedding, each word is, is being treated separately. So uh, the efficiency of dynamic em embedding will be definitely much better than uh, in case of static embedding. And yeah, we can start training our model. Uh, it will take about a couple minutes. Uh, I won't do this uh, right now because, of course, I prepared the model yesterday. So I will just open model I, I already trained. Oh, sorry, that's not this one. Uh, that's... no. <laughs> this is it. Yeah, that's the model I, I trained recently. It took uh, 21 minutes. Oh, I thought it was much faster. Anyway, uh, I was able to use com computer during this training, so that's a good news, because uh, in case of training object detection, object cl classification, uh, it's impossible to use the computer. And the good thing is that uh, the, the testing data set was also already used uh, to, to verify. And as we see, the precision and recall are very high. So uh, it looks like for, for this kind of messages that were used for, for, for training, uh, the model is working pretty fine. And the good thing is that we can also check this model and directly, di directly in CreateML. So, uh, for example, hi Tom, that's ham, that's, that's not spam. Uh, but maybe you got a free prize, call uh, plus one, I don't know. Hmm, that's still working. Uh, Maybe a different example. Uh, to get a free price call plus one, I don't know, something like that. Yeah, that's spam. So uh, it assumes that if they know your name, it's not a spam. Mm, I'm not quite sure. But anyway, uh, in general, looks like this model is, is working pretty fine, of course. If you would like to have a better model, you will definitely need to collect more data, uh, like, I don't know, 50,000 examples, or maybe different uh, examples from, from emails, uh, from WhatsApp messages, and so on. Okay, so as usually, we can uh, just export this, this model by dragging into some di directory, and I already did it, and we can switch to Xcode. Okay, so we are in Xcode. Uh, as usually, I prepared a very simple app, uh, which contains uh, just one view. Uh, there is an input field, some, some button and two labels to show the uh, spam or ham de detector and uh, to show you the sentiment. Okay, let's switch to the code. In general, uh, in case of any NLP processing, we have to import natural language uh, framework. Uh, there are a couple IB outlets and the send messages, the send uh, button, which will work here right now. Okay. 
Okay, so we have simulator right here. And the send button runs the detect spam and detect sentiment messages. So at first, let's look at uh, detect spam message uh, method. So uh, in general, this kind of uh, processes should be run in background thread, but I just put it on on, on main thread because uh, that's working pretty fast and it's it's not blocking UI at all. So uh, at first, we definitely have to create a natural language model uh, using the the spam classifier ML model uh, exported from CreateML previously, and then we can use this model to pre predict label for provided message. Uh, provided message is a message read. read from the message text view, so this gray uh, UI text view. So, yeah, for example, hi, go to, yeah, hi, hi, Tom. It's not spam, okay. No sentiment score, but we'll go to that a little bit more later. Um, we can use the same message to get uh, your auto correction, your free price call. That's one, uh, yeah, something like that. It's spam, definitely. It has even a negative sentiment. Okay, so uh, prediction is, of course, conditional. So we have to check uh, if the model was able to uh, run a prediction and return something. And then we can just uh, put this, this label spam or not spam into our UI label. And the second method called here is detect sentiment. And this method uses a mechanism which is built into iOS right, right now. Uh, previously, it, it could be uh, trained uh, just like the spam detector and of course it still can be uh, but uh, Apple decided to to build that into iOS and that's pretty cool I think and yeah let's dive deep into this so we have to create an NL tagger and there are a couple options to be de detectors here uh, like sentiment score, like uh, language. Mm, currently, this mechanism is also able to detect the uh, the language of the message, and it's of course still a probabil probability of of the, the the language, but it's working pretty fine even uh, with with uh, different languages like like German, like Polish. And yeah. So uh, then we can call the tag method on, on the tagger and it re returns a tuple which uh, contains a sentiment and probably an old tagger, uh, some other value. It's, it's not Im important in, in this case. The good thing about the sentiment uh, analysis is that it's already working in seven languages. So it's English, French, Italian, German, Spanish, Portuguese, and simplified Chinese. So we don't have to do anything to, to make it working. So I hate this car. Mm -hmm. And the sentiment is pretty negative. The sentiment value uh, range is minus one to plus one. The minus one is very negative. The plus one is very positive. And zero is, is uh, neutral. And Yeah, the sentiment is pretty positive and uh, I just put a German message here. It's working pretty fine. Okay, so we are at the end of, of this tutorial of today video. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, uh, I will be more than happy to answer you. You can put them below the video in the comments section. Mm, of course, uh, links to the um, trained model, to the iOS sample app, and uh, to anything else which might be needed, like the, the Kaggle, uh, will be below the video. Uh, thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.